If you've ever wanted to see what it's like to run a nightly news show whilst contending with government censorship, political propaganda and a healthy dose of madness, then Not Suitable for Broadcast on VR is the game for you. The game, set in an alternate history version of 1980s Britain, puts you in the shoes of Alex Winston, the unlikely hero who is tasked with controlling what the country sees on the news. From managing camera feeds to censoring profanity, you have to keep all the shows running smoothly, all whilst dealing with the chaos that ensues. At first glance, not suitable for broadcast may seem like a straightforward game. You control camera feeds and sense of profanity, but as you progress through the game you'll find that there's much more than meets the eye. You'll have to deal with government censorship, with propaganda, manipulation, swear words, gimps in cupboards, all while keeping your own interests in mind. The game is absolutely packed full of surprises, from a police chief caught in a compromising position to a fictional sport with completely bonkers rules. The writing is clever and funny, with a healthy dose of satire that will keep you entertained throughout. The gameplay mechanics are pretty easy to pick up. Your hands can press all of the oversized buttons, which makes it easy to switch between camera feeds, bleep out profanity, and you can grab it and insert VHS cassettes to run different adverts. A radio wave control is needed to be tweaked during the show, which can be a little bit fiddly sometimes but it doesn't detract from the overall experience. But as you progress through the game, the challenges become more difficult with thunderstorms and other obstacles thrown in to keep it interesting. The shows range in their content and you will find yourself doing an investigation report on a supposed UFO sighting that quickly spirals out of control or a quiz show with questions that range from ridiculously easy to nearly impossible. These shows and segments are just a small sample of the absolute craziness and chaos that you will encounter in Not Suitable for Broadcast. The game is an absolute blast and it's sure to keep you on your toes as you try and keep everything running smoothly. The game also has a great visual style with full motion video that looks like it was taken straight out of the 1980s. The actors are great and the storylines are completely mental. Some of the segments feel like they use the local Amdram group to do the acting, but their very badness just adds to the madness. The attention to detail is seriously impressive, with set and costumes all adding to the overall immersion of the game. After each day's programming, players can see a review of their performance in a retro teletext style screen showing how you performed on timing, on delivery, on camera choices. You can also have additional insights and go into the archive to see the show from a viewer's point of view or have the extra laughs and see the footage that you might have missed. Not Suitable for Broadcast is a fun and engaging experience that will keep you entertained for hours. The VR version is definitely the definitive version as you feel the panic of juggling all the action. The writing is clever and funny and the gameplay mechanics are pretty easy to pick up. If you're a fan of satire, full motion video games or just want to experience what it's like to run the nightly news show, then this game is definitely worth checking out. If this review has been useful then please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll be back with another review very soon. the best source of consumer advice then? Don't blame me when it explodes. Going in five, four, three. Time to go over to Jeremy Donaldson for tonight. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main headlines tonight. Destination unknown, 